Hello everyone, in today's video we will show you how to create this pixel art wind effect using Unity and Shader Graph. This effect can be used first to pixelate any sprite you have in your video game. Also can be used to make the sprite like it's being affected by a wind and it looks like alive. This is Ramiz Atoba from Binary Lunar and let's get started. Let's start by creating new Unity project. I'm using Unity 2021 and make sure you choose the Universal Render Pipeline template. Name your project whatever you want. I'll name it Pixel Art Vegetation Wind. Let's create new scene and name it Pixel Art Wind. Then let's go to the package manager where I found a nice free pixel art environment which is called Magic Cliff Pixel Art Environment. I'll provide the link to download that down in the description. Now to make the effect feels realistic, we, we should apply it only to the leaves of the tree or the grass. Because this pixel art we got, the tree is a one chunk, the trunk with its leaves. So let's open Photoshop to separate those into two different layers. So open Photoshop and use the lasso tool to cut around the leaves of the tree, also to cut the grass from the rock which lays on it. Once you separated everything, you can merge all the layers again together and save the PNG. Then go back to Unity and make sure you have installed the 2D sprite package to be able to adjust the slices again. So install the 2D sprite package, then click on Edit Sprite. Then click on Slice, make sure the type has been set to automatic, then click Slice. It will automatically create the new slices for you. Hit apply. Then you can pick the slices, the new slices we created in Photoshop to drag them into your scene. I changed the background color to gray. Then I drag the leaves of the tree and the trunk to the scene. We will apply the shader only to the leaves of the tree. Then let's create new shader, Universal Render Pipeline, Sprite Unleaked Shader, and let's name it Pixel Art Wind. Also, we need to create a material to apply the shader to it, so let's create new material and name it Pixel Art Wind Mat or Material. Drag the shader onto the material to apply the shader to it, then drag the material to the tree leaves. Now you will see just like gray block because we didn't apply the texture yet using the, the shader. So let's open our shader and create the first step that you should do to any 2D shader, which is applying the main texture by creating 2D sample texture node, then creating a property, a texture, and name it underscore main text as a reference. This will automatically detect any sprite and assign it as a texture for the sample texture 2D. The sample texture 2D to the base color, the RGBA channel, and don't forget of course to link the alpha channel to the alpha on our shader to get the transparency of our texture. Now you can see the tree looking perfect in the scene. The first thing we need to apply is to make the pixelation effect. I made a dedicated video for that. I'll leave the link to check that down in the description. Also, you can click it on the top right corner. I'll repeat that quickly. We To pixelate any sprite, you need to start by the UV node. Then you multiply that with how much the pixelation amount you want. The pixelation amount is a float property if you are using UUnity. 
if you are using an old Unity, you might find it as a vector one property. Then you use a floor node to eliminate any fractions of the value. So we get only uh, complete numbers, like uh, we can say one, two, three, as full steps without any fractions like 1.05, for example. This will create a perfect squares as a pixelation effect. Then we divide the floor val value of the floor results on the pixelation amount itself again. As you can see now, we can set how much the sprite is pixelated. For example, the value is 10, we get 10 rows and 10 columns. So in total, 100 pixels. To keep things organized, let's group all of those nodes and name them under a group called pixelation. Now link the results to the UV on the sample texture 2D. Save the shader graph and go back to the scene. Click on the three leaves, open the shader properties and adjust the pixelation amount to get the pixelations amount you want. It's based on the pixel art you have and seems this one is around 120 by 120. So this gives the good results for this pixel art. It depends on your pixel art uh, values. If it's different, you need to play with this till you get satisfying results. Now let's bring the three leaves to life by adding a Voronoi node. So go back to the shader graph and start by creating Voronoi node. We need a multiple properties here. We need the cell density, which represents the cluster amount or size of the bunch of leaves moving together. Then we need to move those points using the angle offset over time. So let's create a time node, then create a new float and name it speed to control the speed of the movement. Set the movement speed to 2 for now, then multiply the speed with the time, then link the results to the angle offset. Now you can see that those points or clusters are moving over time. They are not pixelated, so to apply the pixelation also to the Voronoi node, just link the results of the pixelation into the UV of Voronoi node. Now you can see that those pixels are moving around, which will create the wind effect. Then link the results to the UV on the sample texture 2D. But if we save now and go back to the scene, we will get a bad result because now we are applying only the Voronoi on the whole texture, so we will get a circles that are moving around the screen. And to get the desired results, we need to blend between the main texture and the Voronoi effect, or blending between the pixelated texture and the Voronoi node. So to do so, let's go back to the shader and create a blend node then blend the results of the pixelation with the results of Voronoi node. And we can control the blend value by setting a new float blend value, and we can make it as a slider between 0 and 1. But based on my experiments, you will need only a value like between 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 to get the perfect results. And finally, link the results of the blend to the UV on the sample texture 2D. Let's save and go back to the scene. Then simply all what you need to do is play with the properties that we have created to make your pixel art look perfect. So for example, for this tree, I reached the best results by setting the blend value to 0.05, the speed to 3 and the cell density to 11.5. And that's it, you can bring your tree to life by just applying this simple pixel art effect. We can do the same for the grass we just created. Just drag the grass and the rock from the pixel art environment package and apply the material to the gra grass only and see these nice results. And that's it for today's video. You can create the same scene that I'm showing you now using the same technique. Also, you can download it from Patreon if you want to support me or buy it from the Unity Asset Store.
If you found this useful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and the notification bell so you get notified about the next video. Thanks to these awesome guys who keep supporting us on Patreon and remember by becoming a patron you can download all our projects. Till next video, see you soon.